So this is a continuation of my last video in relation to what is assessment in early childhood. So today I'm going to be continuing by looking at why do we assess young children in early childhood care and education setting. Yes, this video is all about why do we have to bother assess young children? Is there a need for assessing young children in early childhood? Are there benefits to assessing young children in early childhood? If this is what you're looking for, please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to this video. So one of the reasons why assessment is really important is to support the children's learning. Yes, it's to support and extend the children's learning. So through assessment, you've gathered information about the children. So you've reflected on this. So what are you going to use this information to do? You have to use this information to support and extend the children's learning. So this is what the children are really interested in. This is the area they spend most of their time. So going forward, how am I going to extend on this interest? How am I going to build on this interest? So one of the reasons why assessment in early childhood is really is to support and extend the children's learning and development. So this is what Vygotsky Zone of Proximal Development and Learning is all about. This is building on the children's learning. So what are the children's interests? And the information about the children's interests through assessment and you're extending on this. So this is one of the reasons why assessment in early childhood is really important. The reason why assessment is important is to identify a developmental delay or specific requirement. Yes, true assessment you'll be gathering a lot of information about the children for instance you might have a concern about a particular child in your early childhood classroom maybe the child is always withdrawn from their friends they just want to be left on their own so you think that it's important that you assess the children to see what is really causing this withdrawal? Is it because the child is shy? Is there a delay? Is there, is there? So through assessment, you'll be able to observe if there's a specific need. If a child has a delay, if a child is you gathering this information. So after gathering this information, you're not just leaving the information to yourself. You're passing this information to the multidisciplinary team that will take it on from there. For instance, if you have that a child is easily withdrawn and you're concerned, maybe there's a special need there you talk to the multidisciplinary team that is going to observe that a child has a speech delay so this is where you have to lay hands with the speech and language therapy to ensure that the child gets the appropriate support so in relation to assessment you'll be able to identify you'll be able to a delay or a specific requirement so this is one of the reasons why assessment in early childhood is important is to evaluate the ECC program. Yes, another reason why assessment is important is to evaluate the early childhood care and education program. Yes, you're validating your early childhood care and education program. Is it easy for the children? Is it difficult for the children? So this is where observation. So you're observing the children when they're playing. Maybe some of the children are not interested in what they're playing with or they're not interested with what you've provided them for play. So it is true assessment to be able to observe this. So you might like, yes, the children don't like these resources. They don't like, I'm going to provide them with another resource interested in. So, but you can only gather this information through assessment. It is true assessment you'll be able to have a early childhood care and education program. Maybe it's too easy for the children. Maybe it's too difficult for the children. Maybe the program within your early childhood care and education, it's too easy for the children or it's too difficult for the children. You can only find out about this through assessment. Lastly, another reason why assessment in early childhood is important is to gather information. And you're not just gathering information. You're sharing the information with people that need to know this information. You're sharing the information with the multidisciplinary team. You're sharing the information with the parent. You're sharing the information with your co-educator in the room. This is what assessment in early childhood is, is important. So you're sharing information about the child's growth and development with their parent. As you know, the parents are the primary caregiver of their children. So you're sharing this information with them, how they can support their children's growth, how the government in home assessment comes in. You're sharing this information with the parent so that they can know that this is what you've observed about them, how they can use this information to extend the children's learning and development. You're sharing this information with the multidisciplinary team, maybe the speech and language therapist, maybe the occupational therapist, maybe you miss the need to know that needs to know the information that you've gathered about young children. So these are some of the reasons why assessment in early childhood is important. And if you want more of this video on this channel, and what you have to do subscribe and not just subscribe turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video like this is being dropped on this channel you'll be the first person to be notified and until i come your way next time stay safe and find yourselves like a mind